Hi everybody, this is Mike, WB4HUC, and I wanted to make a short video that shows how to operate the Elecraft KPA 500 amplifier from the N4PY software. And I'm using the software with my Tentec Omni 7. So the first thing you do is connect the amplifier to your computer through the 9-pin serial connection. There's a uh, connector on the back of the amp and of course the serial port on the computer. Once you plug that in you set the amplifier baud rate to 38,400. So if you look at the bargain basement webcam you scroll down until you see RS232P and then just set that to 38400. Then in the N4PY Pegasus.ini file, and this is the Pegasus Plus software, in the Pegasus.ini file, you find the line that says KPA500 COM port equal COMX. Change the X to the number of the COM port on the computer that the amplifier is connected to. There's another line that says KPA 500 baud, but that should already be set. So s once you make the change up here, save the file, and then if the software is running, restart it. If it isn't running, then start the N4PY software. In the call sign top 10 settings window, you'll see the line that says KPA 500 and from here you can operate the amplifier so this button will turn the amplifier on or off and when it's on the uh, legend will be red and of course it'll say on you can put the amplifier in operate or standby mode and when it's in operate mode it'll turn red and say operate and you can see in the camera window the standby light had been lit and now the operate light is lit and we can do that again now the standby light is lit next to the operate button is uh, a number that will display the power output of the amplifier the next number will display the operating temperature of the amplifier in celsius and then this button will display any fault codes that the amplifier generates and you can click the button to clear those faults. It'll put the amplifier back in standby mode and then you can click the button to put it back into operate mode. So we'll demonstrate the operate and standby one more time and then we'll power it off. The fan will start and the fan will run for a few seconds and I'll wait until the fan runs down before I start the amplifier again. Okay, so the fan has stopped, and I'll turn the amplifier back on. And you can also set the amplifier through the amplifier menu to power up in operator standby mode. I have it power up in standby mode. The other thing that will happen is the automatic band change. So, of course, when you change bands with the N4PY software, the radio will change bands, but the amplifier will also change bands. Now I know the amplifier is an RF sensing amplifier and as soon as you transmit it'll detect what frequency you're on and it'll set it to the appropriate band. But the uh, band will also be set from the software. So for instance if I go to 40 meters then the amplifier switches to 7 megahertz. If I go to 6 meters the amplifier switches to 50 megahertz. 60 meters goes to 5 megahertz, etc. So these are the things you can do to control the amplifier from the N4PY software. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you.